The sudden raid of some judges' houses by operatives of the Department of State Services and the subsequent arrest of the judicial officers recently drew a plethora of reactions yet to abate. Cries of human rights. Chairman of the Presidential Advisory Committee Against Corruption describes the president's anti-corruption crusade as right, while criticisms from Nigerians as totally wrong and shocking. We need the judiciary, but we need an upright judiciary. Without that, one arm of government would collapse, democracy would collapse. Let us think of the implication of what's going on. So if we don't put the judiciary right, if you don't have a judiciary in which we have confidence, a judiciary, with, a judiciary with integrity and honor, a judiciary with moral authority, then we have no government and we have no democracy. There are Nigerians who are now saying, oh, we are suffering a lot of hardship now since the Buhari government came. We, we, we were better off under corruption. Isn't that uh, the most terrible thing for anybody to mouth without considering what would have happened if Buhari had not come. In its reports from August 2015 to July 2016, the executive secretary highlighted areas of concentration. Amongst other things, the committee clearly maps out sentencing guidelines for high-profile cases where huge monies are trapped. This contract was awarded 10 billion. It was not done. So we bring you and bring contractor. Where is 10 billion? The money left government. Road has not been done. Where is 10 billion? If you sit down and do simple arithmetic of all those high profile cases, just add the sums and see how much you come up with. It will be far above 2 trillion. Oh, yes. Far above 2 trillion. Just add it up like that. Because the state has not recovered the, the money, we will see the effect in the economy. Looking forward, the committee hopes to scale up interactions across the board to reduce corruption in the country. Gloria Umezuki, Channels Television News.